Hi again, this is Manohar Kuse, and today we will be talking about uh, capacitors. Um, so you g have probably looked at a circuit board which looks something like this, also called a PCB, the printed circuit board, and uh, often times there we see capacitors. So these things here are all capacitor, particularly they are tantalum capacitor and um, they are very commonly used in almost all our electronics devices including our cell phones um, it would be just uh, i would just like to point out that um, tantalum is a conflict resource and uh, one of the largest miner of uh, of of tantalum is the democratic republic of congo which is here at the center of africa um, and just uh, when you change your cell phones repeatedly just remember that uh, tantalum is fueling deaths of millions of people in uh, in 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 democratic republic of Co in countries like democratic republic of congo and producing a uh, lot of humanitarian issues so anyway so coming back to the learning of capacitors so this is how various types of capacitors look like so for example this is an this capacitor is uh, it it reads it is 220 microfarads so farads is the unit of capacitance and uh, this capacitor is 220 microfarads and it is designed to operate at up to 400 volts and can operate at 105 degrees celsius so this is a very is used for a very high power application i think this one it reads for 100 volts and things like these are the most common ones in 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 uh, electronic circuits also some things like these and uh, these are typically designed for 5 to 7 volts operation i think this one is 1 farad which is a huge capacity but it operates only at 15 volts so just because the capacitor is bigger does not mean it has a higher capacitor just be mindful of operating voltage and the capacitors capacitance when we talk about this okay so uh, so let's proceed on to um, what capacitance capacitors can do for us uh, so I just draw a simple capacitor okay so capacitor is often denoted like this okay with two parallel plates and internally that's exactly how it looks like when we talk about a capacitor which looks like this it actually has two sheets something like aluminium sheets and they're rolled into a cylinder but internally it looks like exactly like this and what happens here is when you apply a, apply a positive voltage here for example with a battery the charge gets accumulated here the charge mind you the positive charge the electrons they get accumulated here and so that is what a capacitor does um, so essentially a capacitor can be thought of as a battery which charge quickly and discharges quickly um, so let's uh, let's just go on to our easy EDA and try some circuits uh, on uh, on which uses capacitors so let's head over to easy EDA and easy EDA designer and just be sure to log in and let's 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 create a new circuit here new schematic and I'm just going to call this capacitor cap demo okay so let's just uh, quickly create a circuit in circuit involving a capacitor and a resistor so here it's a resistor and a capacitor just going to zoom it a little okay and just uh, let's put a battery oh just uh, remember to change it to simulation mode before you start okay I need to close it I think okay and just switch it to simulation mode 
and then create a new schematic okay and let's and just let's save it to this existing project okay cap demo and let's start with a capacitor and a resistor and a voltage battery okay and let's just connect everything better if you move this up okay just put two probes here and one probe at the output and let's put the ground here okay I'm just going to rename this as input and I'm going to rename this as output okay so as you can see this is a 1k ohm resistance 1000 ohms and this is one microfarad okay u is for micro um, so and the battery is one volt so i'm just going to make it to five volts okay and um, let's save it and let's try what happens uh, you could just pause the video and think for yourself what the out should sh output should be based on the explanation of the uh, capacitor as a as two parallel plates which are physically separate from each other okay so I hope you have thought for a minute for a few seconds before looking at my simulation so let's just click and you might be weirded about this but don't be so what's happening here is the input and output it's just uh, messed up because uh, this is an invalid circuit in per se because what's happening here is it's essentially an open circuit it's like the circuit is not connected because uh, when the battery goes from 0 to 5 volts the capacitor gets charged and that's it finished and then it can't do anything else uh, so oftentimes like with, with DC supplies capacitors I mean are not interesting just with uh, DC supplies and, and simple circuits like this so to see this often you would want to see use a pulsed DC supply this is like the square wave or an AC supply let's just switch to AC supply a sine wave and uh, let's just make a sine wave of say uh, of amplitude as 5 volts okay and frequency of 50 Hertz 50 hertz is same like your wall frequency but it's at 240 volts um, anyway and let's skip things as it is now let's just look at uh, okay okay now let's see what happens okay I think the it's too short the simulation time let's just make two, this 200 okay so so the yellow one is the input and the blue one is the output so you can see the yellow the blue one that is the output is shifted by few degrees so that is what a capacitor does capacitor capacitors voltage goes ahead of the input voltage by a phase difference um, so with this you can essentially change the phase of the circuit or thought of other ways also referred to as differentiator circuits and it's called differentiator because it kind of differentiate isn't it like differentiation i mean the derivative so the input was a sine wave right and uh, so input was a sine of theta say and output was cos theta 
right so what this means is and and just uh, remember from your high school calculus that derivative of sin that is d by d theta of sin is actually cos right so that is what this circuit does and that's why it is called a differentiator circuit uh, i highly recommend that you play around with values of uh, resistors and capacitors and uh, look for yourself uh, what happens so this is uh, part one of our capacitors and i end here and in the next part i show you a little bit more theory on capacitors and some standard